So you want to know what it's like to live in Vacaville, California? Well, that's what I'm going to talk about today. So let's get to it. Welcome to the Thriving in the San Francisco Bay Area channel. I'm Rich Fleming, your local realtor, and I'm here to teach you everything you need to know about living, working, playing, sleeping, eating, you know the drill in the greater San Francisco Bay Area. I do these videos because I have moved places and not known anyone or anything, and it can be a bit overwhelming. So if you got questions, you know, you need someone to talk to, just drop me a text, give me a call, send me an email, because when it comes to helping you transition to the greater San Francisco Bay Area, I got your back. So as I always like to do in these videos, let's start out with where you can find Vacaville on a map, a little bit about its history and some stuff about its uh, demographics. So you can find Vacaville about 53 miles north northwest of Oakland. It is in Solano County, um, which is part of the greater Bay Area. It is also about 35 miles southeast of Sacramento. And I'm gonna come back to this location point later on in the video, but it gives uh, Vacaville some unique characteristics that a lot of other places in the Bay Area uh, don't have they offer. The population of Vacaville is about 102,000 people and it's spread out over about 29 square miles, giving it a population density of about 3,450 people per square mile. So that's by Bay Area standards, greater Bay Area standards, not super dense. Um, you know, you definitely have lots of outdoor space, things to do, places to go here. You're not on top of people. And uh, this is also kind of reflected in the housing, which I also talk about later on. So Vacaville was formed as a town in 1851 and officially became a city in 1892, I believe. So that makes it one of the older cities in the Bay Area. It has been around a long time, has great history. There is actually a Vacaville Museum here in town that really does a good job of, you know, walking people through the history of the town, why it was a significant town um, in the 19th century, early 20th century. Um, so that is definitely a good place to visit. Commerce and employment here in Vacaville. So the largest employer in the city of Vacaville is actually the state uh, Department of Corrections. There are actually two prisons here in town. One is the state correctional facility Vacaville and the other one is the California Medical Facility. And that second one is really where a lot of prisoners that have medical needs and conditions that can't be handled in the standard prisons are transferred to. So between those two facilities, there are about 3,100 employees. Um, some other large Employers in the city include Kaiser, which has a major hospital facility here in town. Amazon has a major uh, facility in town. Uh, Blue, I think it's called Blue Mountain Construction. They do a lot of home building. Um, they used to do home flips, uh, but they are a pretty major employer. I think they have about 300 employees uh, in town. Genentech, which is owned by Roche, the ph pharmaceutical company Roche, they have a manufacturing facility here in town. And it was just announced maybe a couple of weeks ago that Roche is planning to close that manufacturing facility or sell it uh, no later than 2029. And part of that is just due to what drugs are manufactured there. Um, the drugs that are manufactured there have come off patent and that means that they are now facing competition from lower cost generics 
and the company doesn't seem see the demand for the drugs that are, are manufactured there uh, like they used to. So they are looking to divest themselves of that, that uh, manufacturing facility. So that's in the future there if they don't manage to sell it. Um, as far as shopping, there is some diversity of shopping opportunities in Vacaville. I would say there are probably two major ones. One is the downtown area, which is where I'm filming this. This is, I'm actually in a park in downtown Vacaville, uh, Creekside Park. Uh, the second is the premium outlet center area. And that is off of Nut Tree, off the Nut Tree exit, off of Highway 80. Um, you can find all the major brands. They have all their outlets there. Um, downtown is more um, mom and pop services. If you're looking for more of a local feel or need more local services, you'll probably be able to find it more in the downtown area. Housing in Vacaville. So according to redfin.com, the median price for a home sold here in Vacaville in July of 2023 was $590,000. And uh, the average home sold for about the list price. So you're not seeing uh, super overbidding and you're not seeing uh, super discounting. The average home also spent about 20 days on the market before it was sold and that is actually a decrease from last year so things really slowed down last year because there was a dramatic rise in mortgage interest rates people are adjusting now and uh, the market is finding its new equilibrium now the styles and types of housing in vacaville vacaville is a very single family detached home oriented city you do have apartments you do have you know some condos some uh, town home areas but by far the primary type of home or housing here in Vacaville is detached single family residence. Now on the downtown side, the north side and the north side of town, the, house, the housing stock tends to be somewhat older. It was probably built mostly in the 1940s, 50s and 60s. Um, in some of the areas near downtown, you will find more historic homes, which may have been built late 1800s, early 1900s. And there are just some spectacular homes in this area. On the south side of the city, this is part of the city that has been developed more recently. And most of the homes started to be developed maybe in the 80s or 90s. And there is still a lot of building and development going on on the south side of the city uh, to this day. So if you're looking for a newer home, you're probably going to be looking on the south side of the city. If you're looking for a more established home, larger lot size for sure, more character in the homes, then you're probably going to be looking on the north side. Public schools in Solano County. They are overseen by the Vacaville Unified School District. That district serves about 12,500 students and it has nine elementary schools, two middle schools, one K through eight school, and three high schools. And the district and the schools in it are generally considered to be the best in Solano County, maybe with the exception of the Benicia School District, which is also sought after but people are very happy with the schools here but as i always tell people in these videos make sure that you are reaching out to other parents the school district to make sure the district and each individual school has the services and style that you and your family desire um, for your educational needs crime and safety in vacaville so vacaville is a very safe place to live its violent crime rates are far lower than most other Bay Area cities and nationwide averages. It is an extremely safe place to live. Property crime rates are also lower than in most other major Bay Area cities. Um, where you do tend to have a lot of property crime in this city is around the premium outlets area. 
And that's simply because those that are going to still know that people go there to shop, they're buying brand name items and often they store them in their cars while they shop elsewhere. So uh, unfortunately that just attracts uh, whatever criminal element there is around town. But other than that, it is an extremely safe place to live. Um, but as I always do, check out uh, you know, different sources to learn more about crime. And as I always tell people in these videos, crime is a very neighborhood specific challenge in most cities. And if you look at different online sources, you will see that they all give them, give different cities, different grades, different crime maps, so you really have to talk to someone that knows the area uh, before you just pass judgment on a city like Vacaville or any other city, all right? Transportation in Vacaville. So Vacaville is in Solano County and there is no direct BART access um, in Solano County. There are no BART stations in Solano County. So if you're interested in catching BART, you really have to catch an express bus, and I'll talk about that in a moment. Uh, there is one major freeway that runs through the city. That's I-80. It is the main transportation corridor in Solano County. It takes people from the Bay Area to Sacramento. So driving uh, a lot revolves around 80. It is an extremely congested freeway. So if you have to commute, to either Sacramento or the Bay Area, you know, it can get pretty congested. And on holiday weekends, because people also use that freeway to get to Lake Tahoe, it can be actually worse than rush hour. So just plan accordingly if you're using Freeway 80 or Highway 80. Uh, the city does have limited bus service. They have a service called City Coach. It's got five routes here in the city. Uh, it's not an extensive bus network. It doesn't run super frequently, and it seems, in my opinion, to be designed to really help students get around during the school year, get you to the downtown area, get you to some county services areas, and get you to a transportation hub where you can catch the Solano Express, which is a bus service, commuter bus service, that'll take you into the Bay Area or uh, up to Sacramento but the city is not a very uh, walking friendly city unless you are downtown in the downtown area. Uh, it is very spread out and it's just, you know, a very car oriented city. So things to do here in Vacaville. So a lot of activities in Vacaville are very outdoors oriented. Uh, if you want to learn to ride a horse or you are a horse rider, that is definitely available in this area. A lot of hiking trails, uh, great parks. In the summertime, there is a event called Creekside, the Creekside Walk or Creekside Concerts. And that is held in the park in downtown Vacaville. They have concerts. It's usually from uh, July through maybe September. That draws a lot of people. It is a very popular event. Uh, so I would say, you know, there are a lot of community activities, sports for the kids, if you have kids or you're interested in that. Uh, uh, but if you're looking for significant cultural outings, you probably will have to go to Sacramento or San Francisco or Oakland for that. So pros and cons of being in Vacaville. Well, let's start with the pros as I always do. So pro number one is pretty clear. It is the housing affordability here. Very rarely in the greater Bay Area can you find a wide variety of housing, uh, different styles and prices where you can definitely find housing for under six, $700,000 um, and go up from there. You can find homes currently being built, brand new developments. You can find homes built in the late uh, 1800s, early 1900s. If you're looking for a ranch, you wanna keep horses or other livestock, you can find that here too. So you have a really wide variety of housing. The second advantage or pro 
of uh, Vacaville is its location. And this is a little bit of a double-edged sword, but Vacaville, living here enables you to participate in both the uh, Sacramento job market and the you know immediate Bay Area job market. So you're about 35 miles from Sacramento and from the San Francisco East Bay, you're about 40, 45 miles. So you, you can choose which employment market to work in. The drawback of that is that you have to drive essentially, that's the only option on Highway 80 and that is a tough commute. The third pearl of Vacaville is its schools. It is highly sought after uh, to be here because people do like the schools. They feel that they offer good value, good services, um, and are among the best in Solano County. The cons of being in Vacaville. So there are really two primary cons. One is transportation. And I talked about this earlier, but uh, you don't have great public transportation options here in Vacaville. They're okay, uh, but definitely not great. And it is not a walkable city. This is a very car oriented city. And the only freeway through the city is 80. And as I've mentioned in this and other videos <laughs> for cities that uh, Highway 80 runs through, that can be a tough drive. The second drawback is the employment options here in town. Chances are, if you live here, you're gonna to have to find employment elsewhere unless you have your own small business, uh, you're working for the state. I mean, there are employment opportunities here, but a lot of people end up leaving town to work, uh, either in Sacramento or the immediate Bay Area. So another Solano County city that I mentioned in this video was Benicia, California. And of course, I've done a video on it, so I'll put a link to it somewhere on this screen. If you've got any questions about anything I covered in this video, you know what to do. Drop me a text, give me a call, send me an email. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up so YouTube knows to show it to other people with interests similar to yourself. Hit the subscribe button and hit that bell notification so you know each and every time I drop a new video. And I'll catch you in the next video.